with me. Here, you gave me the wrong change. Here, you gave me the wrong... <laughs> Oh, God. I'm getting a cold. There's one sneeze. That's nothing. No, 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 no. It's a cold. It's a cold. I can feel it. Well, don't panic. I, I, I'm not panicking. Where's, where's the ambulance? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's spreading. It's spreading. Here it comes. Who's this? It's the victim. Julio Alvarez. No. No, this isn't the guy. Natalie. That's the guy. There's his employee ID. He's dead. He's in the morgue. That's not the man that came to the door. OK, look, you said you only got a glimpse of him last night. I mean, that's the guy. Is that from the judge's house? Yeah. Captain's office. I got to go. That's not the guy. Hello. Hi. Can I help you? Sorry to bother you. I hope this isn't a bad time. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm sort of in the middle of something. Why? What is all this about? Really sorry to bother you. I, I live a few blocks away. Yeah. I've seen you around. Yeah. <laughs> it's about my cat Snowflake. She's run away. Your cat? Do you have a picture? No, see, that's the thing. She's new, so. Thanks anyway. Sorry to bother you. Hold on. You know what? I did find a cat this morning. She was uh, scratching my front door. She's down in the basement. Come on in. No, it's probably not her. What color is it? White. See, it can't be her. Snowflake's black. Snowflake is black? Thanks anyway. You really should put some ice on that thumb. We had a what? Bruce on his thumb. I remember the guy that delivered Julie's pizza had the same Bruce. Uh-huh. He tried to get me in his house. Maybe he likes you. Maybe he finds you attractive. Stranger things have happened. No, he wanted to kill me. I can tell. Can you get a search warrant? No, not based on this. I mean, the guy's got a nice house, right? He's got some money. Why would he kill a pizza delivery guy? I don't know. Even if he did kill him, why would he drive across town and deliver Julie's pizza to her? Doesn't make sense. Well, can't you at least come down here and talk to him? Uh, yeah. I can, uh, be there in two hours. No, no, he could be gone by then. Where's the captain? He's working on the case. Not your case, the other case, the big case. She left the courthouse at 445. She was last seen driving north on the 101 by a surveillance camera right here. She was alone in the car. OK, now her car was found in a parking lot here was unlocked, it had been wiped clean. There were no prints, no fibers. I got some photographs here. Oh. oh, no, I, I can't see, I can't focus. I can't see. OK, we'll look at the pictures later. Yeah. We uh, know that she was seeing somebody. He might be married. Oh. We can tell by her credit card records that um, they went on a trip together in February. They went to Oakley, Idaho, February 10th for two weeks. Uh. He's not married. He's not married? No. What, how do you know that? <laughs> Monk, how, how do you know he's not married? Uh, oh, they were there on Valentine's Day. If he was married, he, he would have stayed home. Yep, yep. you're right. OK, Monk, stay with me here, OK? She's a judge, so maybe he was someone that uh, she was not allowed to see socially. Yes, like a lawyer is someone who might be involved in one of her cases, a conflict of interest. Oh, uh, Natalie, uh, I I've been calling you. I know, I didn't answer. I knew you tried to talk me out of this. Out of what? I'm in his house. Uh, well, you're in his house? He put something in his car. I couldn't make it out, and then he drove off. You're in his house. But I didn't know what else to do. No one was listening to me. Oh. Oh, Nellie, you're in his house. Listen. Get out of there. And... <laughs> can, you, can you pick up some cough drops on your way back? But, but get out of there.
Lawyer Dennison was having an affair with Judge Gar. She came to his house last night, and at some point they decided to order a pizza. Somehow, things turned ugly. Maybe they had a fight. We'll probably never know what it was about. But he killed her. He killed her in that bathroom. <coughs> But the delivery guy, Julio, must have seen the attack or, or heard something. And he tried to help her. He died trying to save her. Dennison had a problem. The pizzeria knew Julio's route. And Dennison knew that if Julio just disappeared, the cops would focus on him. They'd poke around. They'd ask a lot of questions. So he needed somebody else <clears throat> to be the last person who saw Julio alive. He decided to deliver one more pizza as Julio to divert attention from himself. You were right, Natalie. Julio didn't deliver that pizza. The man who killed him did. He was smart. One, that blood you found on the bathroom light switch. That's the judge's blood, and I think it is. He's going to jail for life. But even without that blood, we could still convict him. Mistake number two. His fingerprints are all over that pizza box he delivered. It's at the recycling dump. <coughs> I'm sure they could find it if they have to. They just collected it this morning. Oh, that's my other line. Hold on. Mr. Monk. Yeah, that way I'll call you back. I'm on the other line. Where was I? Oh. Natalie. Say one word for anybody. She's dead. Understand? You're stalling. I'm not. I swear to God. I'm going to give you one more chance to help me find the damn box. Ah! Oh.